Hello everyone, I'm June and welcome to my channel Liebermer. This video is for my fellow booktubers. If you love classic fantasy with tropes and parties going on, adventures and trying to kill the dragon to get the gold as in The Hobbit, then this series is definitely for you. Who is Freeren? Well, she is the main character of the anime called Freeren Beyond Journey's End. Yes, I know, this is an anime and you want me to talk about books, but just give me a minute and I will explain. I know there are many channels already explaining this anime in more detail and much better, but I will try my best to tell you what this anime is about. I normally don't recommend books or TV series unless I think they are very good, and Fearin is way more than very good. Some consider it so great that they say it's a masterpiece. Is it? Well, I don't know. I haven't watched enough to compare it, but I would say that it's close to being a masterpiece. Freeren has a very simple storyline, similar to The Hobbit, where we have a party going on, adventures and trying to defeat the dragon. Freeren is the same, but the ending is the beginning. Freeren starts with a party composed of Himmel, the human hero, as the leader of this group, Hater, a human priest who is the healer, Aizen, a dwarven warrior, the tough guy, and Freeren, the elven mage. After 10 years of a long journey, they are coming back from killing the demon king. So the story starts when the main event is already done. They are received in the town and are awarded. They are considered heroes across the land. That same night, they see a meteor shower in the sky. Freeren comments that she knows a better place to watch it. But the meteor shower won't happen again until 50 years. So they decide to gather after that time. And it is here when we start understanding the beauty of this anime. Freeren is an elf who has lived for thousands of years, so 50 years is nothing for her. But when they meet again, she notices that Hater and Himmel are old. Aizen, as a dwarf, can live a bit longer than humans. And eventually, the time will come when Himmel will pass away. Sorry to spoil this part, but don't worry, all of this will happen in the first 15 minutes of the first episode. And this is not the ending, it's just the beginning. After this, Freeren will start appreciating her friends and regretting she didn't know anything about her friend Himo. She will get interested in learning more about humans. To do so, she will start another journey where she will encounter new people, other friends and more adventures. If I still don't convince you, let me tell you that here you will find the typical fantasy themes, classic tropes with dwarves, elves, monsters and magic. The anime is drawn beautifully, but what will really make you love this anime is the feeling, the slow pacing, that in no way will bore you. By watching this anime you will feel cozy and nostalgic. It will help you appreciate the people around you, your friends, and the limited time we have to live. If you still don't believe me, do me a favor, just watch the first episode, just that, 25 minutes, you can find it on YouTube, and then tell me what you think, really, trust me on this, just make the effort to watch the first episode, and if you end up watching the whole season, then you will understand me. By now there is one season only with 28 episodes, but it should continue because the story is not ended yet. So do it, just watch it because you will love this series. So thank you for watching and until next time take care and see you in the next video. Enjoy your adventures in both books and anime.